Okay, so hello and welcome to a film mixologist. Now, I am at the point now where I'm, where I'm at the most complex part of the build for this magneto. As you can see, we've got we've got all the body now put together. What I had to do is I had to clean the um, the weight of the of the magneto because the magneto has an advance built into it and the details let me see if I can bring you closer see if you can see it and the details are contained in this like chart here so at 380 crank uh, camshaft revolutions you get zero advance so you set up as your initial timing let's say 10 degrees at 380 camshaft revolutions that's multiplied by 2 it will be 700 um, 760 uh, and at 500 camshaft RPM that's a thousand it's four and a half degrees of advance and at 1600 camshaft RPM that's 3002 in crankshaft RPM it will be 11 and a half degrees of advance so for example if you had like 11 say, 10 degrees initial advance at 3200 RPM you will have 21 and a half total advance for the unit that's how how the, how this is how this kind of works out so however now my my trick is the trick here and and this is why this is the the most complex uh, part of the of the of the build is because what i have to do now is i have to time the mag with the points so let me show you a bit um, every magneto basically the, as you can see here I haven't got uh, I've got the points plate here so I've, I've, got, I've got to install that in a minute but in in any car what you do is you have to put the magneto in the in a, in a certain position so it will be so the shaft will be fixed and therefore you will know that it's firing on number one cylinder and in here you've got to do that as well but also what you need to do is you need to time the internal magnets of the magneto to be in the correct place because if not the magnetos are out of line with the cycles of firing <coughs> the way we do that there is a little pin here that you need to insert and now what I need to do is I need to build up the breaker plate so that it so that the cam and if I install this on top like so so this is going to be facing number one cylinder on the cap in the direction of rotation like so incidentally I'll show you I'll show you the cap <coughs> As you can see, I, I've used a, a little product to polish it a bit because it was it was very, very dirty, and now this looks actually quite nice. I didn't want it to look overly restored, uh, but as you can see, the leads are quite long. It's uh, it's got all the leads in. It's in it's in very good condition now. So now what I need to do is I need to fit the breaker plate and trying to time the mag properly so that this is ready to to finish uh, to, for, for me to finish building it
Okay, so timing the magneto really was easier uh, than I thought because I'll show you here closer. So it turns out when I was when I was trying to do it that you have this mark and this mark. So what I had to do is align those two marks with the pin <coughs> in this position, and these brought me. Uh, in line with the timing of the magneto so then the only thing I had to do is I had to put a new condenser obviously put the leads and the this to for, for the magneto to stop and I've got the cap that goes um, the other way around I think like so which was the biggest one There we go, so that's the cap, and that's it then, so what I need to do now is I need to test it, and I'll show you how I'm going to test it in just one minute. Okay, so that last video that I did, I put all the sparks, uh, spark plugs in, uh, new spark plugs in, and what I was testing there was that all four spark plugs were going. So <coughs> the test obviously indicates that they were all going. So we're winning. This is this is a live magneto right now. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm I'm really happy about how this. Uh, turned out so now I'm gonna start maybe doing other vertex uh, projects um, so thank you very much for uh, following along with this project and I'll see you on the next episode